couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll continue to explore Latin style fingerstyle. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with three chords, but we're gonna uh, disperse these three chords all over the neck and explore the connections between the three that create the genre. So these three chords are A minor, D minor, and E. Now the basic position needs no explaining. A minor, D minor, and E, E major. Okay, or E7, okay? And the second position I want you to explore is this, 5-5-5 five, 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 and the open A string, okay, 5-5-5 five, 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 of course on strings 1, 2, and 3, uh, for A minor, okay, for D minor you have 5-6-7 and the open D string, and for E you have a D shape on 4 with the open 6 string, okay? So it's 4-5-4, four, four. or for 3-4 for E7, okay? So you have okay, A minor, D minor, and E. You also have uh, D minor on 10, so you have 10, 10, 10, and the open D string. You have A minor, D minor shaped on 8, so it's 8, 10, 9, and the open A string. And for E, you have a part of the A shaped bar, you have 799 nine, on strings 1, 2, and 3 with the 6 string. Okay, now what's going on here? If you take a look immediately, you see that these shapes create the full scale around the neck. You have A minor, D minor, you have Okay, it's A uh, harmonic minor. That's why you have the G sharp. Okay, so E, okay, then A minor, D minor, okay, still the same five. So let's say we can add seven for E. Okay, so we already have just played this sequence it sounds interesting and then you have eight then you have ten and then you can do okay, 12 uh, 13 14 for a minor again okay the octave of this okay so you have 12 and you also have 13 if you want to edit okay to the D minor so you have a full range Okay, of possibilities. So you can just toy around with that at first and see how you do even before you add licks. Okay, just add an interesting rhythm. See, just the chords. It's amazing what music can do. You add rhythm and everything works. Okay, I did a chromaticism between the, the D shape to the D7 shape. I did 5, 4, 3. Okay, I did. Okay, I don't, don't remember the leg. And then you have D minor. Yeah, and adding seven and eight. It's in the scale. We just explored it. Okay, and you can go higher. Okay, to the D minor A minor shape. Uh, to the D minor shaped A minor. Um. Okay, we have to go to A minor. I wanted to go to D minor. You can do this. Okay, and you have 10 for E7. If you want to do the E7, you can do this. Okay, you can do 10, 12, 13. Okay, because this is the octave of this. Okay, the so you have this, and instead of the 7 on 15 you 
play the same note on 10 on the E string. Okay? So you see, you immediately have connections. Just the chord shapes with an extra note or two of the scale. And that's basically all you need to know. Okay, so just take it slowly. Okay, just play around with the shapes, with the notes between the two shapes. Okay, I played six and five because I have five. Okay, on the second string, I have five on A minor. And on D minor, I have six. So you can play around with the harmony itself as, as well. Okay, both the six and seven and the five and five on strings two and three. You can do it. Um, Also go to the lower notes. Okay, you can do five and seven on strings three and uh, four, and you can play around with those one fret down or two frets up. I played these notes from okay, the D shape. I played strings one and three, and then okay, the um, um, five pull off to three on the second string. You can say it's A minor and D minor, okay, or the seventh of the E chord, and then returned to the A minor shape. And you can do it all over the neck. It just needs focus. You just need to pay attention and visualize the, the chord shape. So, So, um, again, what I did on E was, I did the same thing I did here, yeah, I did uh, 9, uh, 8, 7 on the third string to turn this into E7, okay, the A7 shape, okay, where the bar is on 7, so, yeah, you can also turn the chord itself into a solo, just arpeggiated, and then <clears throat> add a couple more notes. Um, also, the, you know, the uh, natural position. Okay, now why did I do this? Okay, um, because okay, I have one on the third string inside E. Okay, so I did okay, uh, two, one, two on the third string instead of to zero two, which is the natural minor. So I used the G sharp note for the A harmonic minor, but I didn't think of it that way. I thought about the chord shape. I had this note in E. Okay, so when you think about chord shapes, as long as you know your options around the neck, you don't really have to think about the scales. create any rhythmical idea you want and it would work because that's the magic of music um, so um, and it's also the music of magic um, if you want to get poetic so thank you very much for watching this lesson subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I've got a ton of lessons already here and I upload a new one regularly so um, it's free um, and if you want to give something back anyway, it all goes back to your guitar education. There's a Patreon link in the description and also a donation button on the Lick and Ref website should you choose to do a one-time donation. I thank you in advance for your generosity. Everything goes right back into your lessons. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.